unicorn? Remember what an incredible monumental YouTube smash that video was at the time? You ever watch the rest of the stuff on that channel? It's actually pretty good. The channel I'm talking about today is Film Cow. The Film Cow channel has given us a lot of wonderful and very creepy cartoon hits over the years, including Charlie the Unicorn, Llamas with Hats, Marshmallow People, the list goes on and on. But one thing that I was always kind of interested in with Film Cow was their merchandise. I actually own a couple of the Film Cow books, and I do own the infamous Film Cow Hungry for Hands, starring Carl and Paul, your favorite uh, llamas with with hats. But today I won't be talking about the Film Cow channel. Today I will be talking about a singular piece of Film Cow merchandise that is interesting to say the least. It's a novelette titled Professor Toothy, The Final Lesson. If you've ever seen the Professor Toothy skit, you know how film cow it is. It has that surreal kind of, okay, I can get into it, and then it gets kind of creepy towards the end. It's about a little tooth who goes around, my name's Professor Toothy, don't you want a nice tasty lamb chop? And he like shoves the lamb chops down the guy's face, he's like, hey McGee, come here, I'm tired of lamb chops. It's, it's kind of, it's, you know, it's like a real funny video. But then, a while ago, there was a book made about Professor Toothy. It's a little book, it's a novelette, you know, it's it's pretty slim, all things considered. So how is it? I'll tell you what. It's what you expect, and maybe just a little bit more. And I think that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, the thing only cost me $6, so it's definitely worth it if you're a fan of Film Cow. It's important to, you know, support creators that you like. But what does it have to do with Professor Toothy? Well... The novelette is like, it takes place at like a magic school where creatures that can do magic kind of gather, kind of like Harry Potter, but for animals. And one of the professors there is Professor Toothy, and his speciality is time travel. And then Professor Toothy gets a dangerous message that he needs to go back in time and shove lamb chops down some guy's face to stop the whole universe from collapsing. And while Professor Toothy is not the main character, he's actually a side character in this book. He's not, he's not the main focus. The parts with him are kind of interesting. It's like, yeah, actually, now that you explain why the tooth is shoving lamb chops down the guy's face, it kind of makes a little bit of sense, you know? Like, I, I, I get it, you know, I, I can get behind it. Not may not be a story of biblical proportions, but... To support Film Cow, and for six dollars, it's a pretty enjoyable read. It gives you a little backstory to one of Film Cow's most popular skits, and it has that Jason Steele charm to it. So if you're looking for something that's a little bit Film Cow-y, and you're not satisfied with watching their cartoons, I'd recommend picking up this book. It's strange, but there's just something I like about it. All right, everybody, thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of Kirk Talk, and I will see you guys in the next one.